Greetings again, this is Tim. I wanted to share an update with my moon project. I shared with you all last time the moon with rings around it. This is because it's ABS, the material shrunk during the printing process. I'm still impressed that it did such a good job printing even though it was deforming as it was printing. But here's the same moon in PLA. And it came out with a, as a really good model. It works well, does what it was expecting. I've also got a couple of comments. First one is from Flair, and it was a request to try out TPU. I'm still working on it. I tried out uh, a flip-flop for my granddaughter, and it was okay. Uh, and I'll share some details as I get some more experience with the TPU. Probably next week I'll share what I have. Uh, I also got a comment from Birdie. The glow-in-the-dark material that I used to create this was, is abrasive. And it will wear down a brass nozzle prematurely. And I've got some basic specifications of the nozzle that I'm going to confirm before giving out. But... They provide a total of nine nozzles, 10 nozzles, that are 0.4 millimeter uh, with the printer. So I'm not real worried about having it wear out quickly. Um, but it does bring up a challenge. I think I'm gonna try printing some of these benches at each one of these nozzle sizes and see how that affects the printing process. It'd be a good experiment. Um, but then I had a question about print quality. So what I've done is I have made six different prints of the Benchy uh, model, and we're gonna take a look at those, but first I'm gonna turn the camera around. And I'm not gonna do that while you're watching because that makes me motion sick when I watch other people do it. So we'll be right back. All right, we're back. These are the benches I printed. This one up here at the front, this is the standard in the easy mode using the Anchor Make slicer. This is 0.2 layer height at 250 millimeters per second. This one is 0.2 layer height with 50 millimeters per second. These two are both 50 millimeters per second, 0.1 layer height. This one is 0.1 layer height, 50 millimeters per second, but with a brim for bed adhesion. And then this one is easy mode, 0.3 layer height. So look at them a little bit closer now. On this one, again, this is 0.2 layer height, 250 millimeters per second. It has a few little defects, just the layers aren't quite lining up but you don't see any sagging or dipping in the portals or the overhangs. So a little bit here. And I believe this discoloration is just from changing print colors. I've seen that on occasion. But overall, it's pretty good. You can't see the lettering on the stern, but everything else seemed to go pretty good. You can't see the lettering on the bottom because if the print adhesion to the uh, print bed, but not bad. Now, if we set that aside, this is 0.2 layer height, 50 millimeters per second. So this is approximately one fifth the speed. What I find interesting is you have these drips or sagging filament in the overhangs. This one's not so bad there, but here on the portals, it's much more pronounced, where this was pretty round. But other than that, you got fewer missed layers, fewer defects. Looks pretty good. Still can't read this quite yet. We did get the lettering on the bottom. Now, these next three. So this one was first, 
and this is 50 millimeters per second, 0.1 print speed. And obviously soon into the print, it just started dragging everything around and spewing uh, spaghetti everywhere. So it was a bad print, obviously. This one was a little bit more interesting. So didn't change any settings, but what happened here is the nozzle became embedded right there in that hole and started dragging the print all over. And it just started extruding more material into this blob. Next, this is the same model, same settings, except I used a brim. And you can see right here, it started lifting up. Other than that, the details are pretty good. Still have a little in the porthole, a little bit in the porthole here. Much higher resolution, so you get a smoother roof. And you can start to read the lettering on the stern. And then the last one, this is 250 millimeters per second at 0.3 layer height in the easy mode. And you can see the blobs and the defects. Portals are pretty good, overhangs are pretty good. Obviously you're not gonna read that, but it was interesting that it had lettering on the bottom where the 0.2 didn't have any lettering. So it was just an interesting deviation in what I expected but not bad. You know, if you were using something that was not cosmetic, it'd be useful. But it was a very quick print. Um, that was another thing I was gonna share. Um, so the slicer estimated that this was gonna take 42 minutes. When I put it into the printer, it said it was gonna take one hour, 23 minutes, and the printer was right. Then on this one, it said it was going to take 30 minutes on the slicer and it took 31 minutes and 39 seconds to print. So there is some differences on this. Where's number two? On number two, this is the slow speed, 0.2 layer height. This, the slicer said one hour, 17 minutes. The printer said two hours, 34 minutes. In actuality, it took an hour and 19 minutes. So there's some variations in the calculations between the printer and the slicing software. So it was just another interesting data point to see what is going on in the software. So final thoughts. I think for me, the easy mode 0.2 layer height at full speed is the best value proposition. Um, the defects were minimal. It actually was more defective at the slower speed and that was a surprise to me. So for most parts, I think I'll just stick to the uh, easy mode. And hopefully we'll see some improvements in the future. Uh, Anchor Make has announced new updates to the slicing software, to the printer software or firmware, and to the app. And hopefully we'll get those soon, get them loaded. Uh, I checked this morning and I still couldn't get them. And as soon as I have them, I'll provide you an update. So for those who celebrate Thanksgiving, happy Thanksgiving. For those who don't, I hope you enjoy whatever your winter holidays are. And I will see you after my vacation. Have a good day.